this is a quick tip so basically we are going to install PostgreSQL in Mac environment so PostgreSQL Mac so Mac packages PostgreSQL so right now it's a 12 version so I am going for that download the installer <coughs> so 12 Mac OS is there Linux we will have already 10 11 probably it's better to download this one but if you need to make if you are using in server side in Linux it should be better to use 10 so I'm going for 12 right now oh there is one thing I missed so Mac OS there are two versions here this one is 64 bit this one is 32 bit I don't know what is the difference between oh that's for my windows so right now we are okay we already downloading that then clicking that one as usual we are doing for any other databases then here opening that one I need to give my password then it will install automatic okay so it will install everything command line toggle postgresql server pg admin for the so one that we need so then I need to set a password so basically ten port make it default local default local and it will take some time I guess you can install PostgreSQL as a docker also that will be better also but in that case you need to uh, install pgadmin separately so there is an image here so you can just pull that image postgres so what is that version it's a uh, latest version i guess tool so yeah, it will not be a problem so i know i finished with that so application need my password again so i'm done with that I guess these are additional things we don't need that one so uh, I need to take PG admin right so PG admin yeah it will be available here so right now I am just starting that to make sure my Postgres SQL installation is okay right now 
so it will ask him my password right now so I am providing my password so I am in my servers okay it's again asking for my password so I am just giving save my password then yeah I can see my databases here so it's a very straightforward approach to install database so where I can see my database tip so then dashboards statistics dependencies you are going here create databases here so here are already mentioned to one database is already there so I am just creating another database one of should be Postgres or whatever okay so I create a new database this one so here I can create new tables also okay that's where it works so sometimes in future we will go through this one also because it's very important comparing to any other database it's very fast most of the modern application using post postgres so it should be yeah it should be very good and if you know uh, about this one so that's all about PostgreSQL. So